want us to look at uh, this such a number patterns. Remember that we've got the arithmetic sequence. The arithmetic sequence, we said it has a common difference. So we know that D would be equals to T2 minus T1, which is the same as T3 minus T2, the same as T5 minus T4. We call that the common difference, so that's important. Number two, we also have here the general term. Tn is equals to A plus into N minus 1D, which we showed you where it come from. Number three, on this arithmetic sequence, another important formula here is the one for the sum that I want us to do with you. Remember, there are only two for the sum. Sum is S. So Sn is equals to N over 2 into A, which is the first term, plus L, which is the last term. So this is another formula to find the sum. I will talk about the sum now. Another formula for the sum says Sn is equals to N over 2 into 2a plus n into minus 1, oops, n minus 1 d, n minus 1 d. This is another important formula for, for the sum. That is the arithmetic sequence. Right. If you go to the geometric sequence, geometric sequence, it also has its way of finding it, of identifying it. We identify it by the common ratio, r, which is T2 over T1, which is the same as T3 over T2, which is the same as T10 over T9, and so on and so forth. It should be common. It should be the same. It also has its general term, like the arithmetic sequence. However, the general term for the geometric is Tn is equals to Ar to the power n minus 1. This is the general term for the arithmetic sequence, for the geometric sequence. After the, uh, the general term, we, we talk about the sum. Our two of our formula sum is what's happening this side with geometric sequence. The first one would be Sn is equals to A into R to the power N minus 1 over R minus 1. The second one would be Sn is equals to A into 1 minus R to the power N over 1 minus r. So you can see that the difference between this one and this one is only that r to the power n minus 1. Go 1 goes to minus r to the power n. So which one do we use? Simple. You check your denominator. If u r wako m kulu uno 1, u ye no bangana. Kota go mangabe go 1 m kulu uno r u no bangapa. The first one. So this one will follow that one. This one will be up there. So if common ratio in one is angala, if the common ratio in one is angala. So if the common ratio is angala, now look at what you angala. You'll get that, 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 that formula. Then the last one will be the quadratic sequence. Quadratic sequence. It has, we also deal with Tn is equal to A n squared plus B n plus C. So it covers only that section. There's another part that I want us to talk about with, 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 with geometric sequence. Remember, each geometric sequence will also have sum to infinity, which is equals to A over 1 minus R. And it is only the geometric sequence that will converge. Whenever you see the word converge, you must know that it has a common ratio. It is where the common ratio is between minus 1 and 1. So see the word converge as with the common ratio should be between minus 1 and 1. Now let's go back here to the arithmetic sequence. I wanted us to look at the arithmetic sequence, which is the first part here. We talked about that. We've talked about the general term. I want us to talk about the sum now. We see that we've got a formula of two octoly sum, where Sn is equal to that, and this other one. You also, this is also examinable. It's about five to six marks to prove which comes with the formula or the formula coming up. Let's just try and kill two, one, two, two, two birds with one stone here. Let's look at this one. We'll try and prove both of them at the same time. We now know that when we talk of Tn, it is the same as the nth term. It is the same as the last term. We know this now. Now, with that information, let us go to this one. If we have, we want to prove this one. Sn is equal to 
n over 2 into 2a, 2a plus into n minus 1d. We want to prove that generally, this is how, this is the sums. We want to let it develop. We know from the previous lesson, from the previous session that in an arithmetic T1, we generally call it A. What do you call T2? T2 would be A plus the common difference. It will be A plus D. What will T3 be? T3 would be A plus 2D, and so on and so forth. And Tn will be A into N minus 1D. Right, with that in mind, when we add something, Sn is equals to. Maybe let's start here. If I've got two, four, let me just make it a series. Two plus four, plus six, plus eight, plus something. Right. This continues. What is T1? We said T1 is the same as A. T1 is the same as A. In this particular case, it is two. So T1 is two. What is A? A is also two. What is S1? S1, S1. What does S1 mean? The sum of the first term. So I think I said the first term is blue and S1. So it will also be two. So we are learning that S1 simply means T1 simply means A. All these things mean one and the same thing. It should never confuse us when it comes out. But what is T2 there? T2 is four. What is S2? What does S2 mean? S2 simply means the sum of the first two terms. S2, the sum of the first, not just any terms, but the first two terms. S3, it doesn't mean any three terms, but the sum of the first three terms. So when we talk of T2, T2, it's easy, it's four. In this particular case, T2 is equals to four. What will then be S2? S2 is not the same as T2. Remember, S2 simply means the sum of the first two terms. We are adding the first two terms. So what will S2 be in this particular sequence? This is the sum of the first two terms. Two plus four, it will be six. So it is important to note that even though T1 is the same as S1, but T2 is not the same as S2. Because in S1, it is just the first time that you are adding with nothing. So it is the same as T1, it is the same as T2. However, T2 is not the same as S2, as we see in this particular example. What is uh, S3 in this particular case? What is S3? So it's the sum of the first three terms. We can do this off by heart. We can add the first three terms. We already know that these two are what? Six. You add the third one, it will be six plus six, it is 12. So S3 in this particular case, it is 12. What is S4? So it is, we've already added this three, which we got 12. So S4, you add that, it will be 20. So we can see what is S4. S4 in this particular case is 20. But what is T4? T4 would be eight, because T4 and S4 are two different. All right, what, on the same sequence, if I ask you the question, what is S200? Ah, then we get stuck. We cannot count, check all those up to 200 terms. That's where the formula come handy. That's where you got this formula. That, that's what we'll be using to, to, to solve those, those bigger ones. But where does it come from? Let's, let's do this. Whenever we are adding, where do we start? We are starting to add from the first term. We add up to the last term. Let's do that. If first term, what do we call the first term? The first term, we refer to it as A. When we add this, we are going to add from the first term, which term are we going to add? Generally, we'll, we'll, we'll add it to the second term. In an arithmetic sequence, what do we call the second term? We know from this information that generally, the second term would be A plus D. So after adding the first term, I've got to add to the second term. In this particular case, it is A plus D. What will be the next term? It will be A plus 2D plus, so here, this is the first term. This is the second term, this is the third term. I'll be doing this up until I go to the last term. I will be adding this up until I go to the last term. The last term, the term you have the last term. I refer to it as L. Remember what I said about that. Remember what I said about the last term. Keep that in mind. It will help us in trying to solve our problem. We're trying to prove that Sn is equal to that. <coughs> okay. We'll be adding the first term to the second term, to the third term, to the fourth, to the fifth, to the whatever number up until the last one. I don't know how many terms do I have here. 
but I know that if I add all of them, I must get that. Right. There's a game that I want us to quickly play here. Look at this one. If I've got this, if I've got 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8, let me work this in reverse. I'm starting from 8. If I say 8 plus uh, 6, go back, go this way, plus what? After 6, it will be 4. After 4, it will be 2. So it's plus 2. If I add this 2, let me see what happens here. I want you to notice this. What is 2 plus 8? That gives us 10 plus. So, so this. What is 4 plus 6? It gives us what? 10 again. Okay. What is 6 plus 4? It also gives us 10. This one, it also gives us 10. Ah, this, this was Sn is equal to that. Sn is equal to that. So what do, we, what do we see here? So 2Sn, if I add this one, 2Sn will be equals to whatever number of 10s that I will be having. So that's, how, that's what I wanted to, you to see. If I add something, this will give you the same thing. I wanted to have that, that in your mind. Let's look at this one. Now, if I say Sn, Sn is equal to. I want us to play this game coming from that side now, coming from that side, as I was doing in here. Look here, I've taken the first three terms here. A, no A plus D, no A plus 2D. I want us to, 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 to move before the last term. What, to, what would the term that comes before the three last term? Remember, if I've got this one, 2, 4, Six, eight. If this is my last term, because I know here what is my common difference here. Ah, the common difference is two times two plus two is four. Four plus two is six. Six plus two, or eight minus four. Eight minus six, it's two. Six minus four, it's two. Four minus two, it's two. So you, you go back. So if this is the last term, I want to reach this term. I've got to take this term and subtract the common difference from the last term to get this term. So if the common difference was 2, so it's going to be 8 minus 2 to give this one. Right. With the very same understanding, if this is the last term, to get to this term, I've got to subtract the common difference in that term. So this term before the last term would be L minus D. Ah, if I'm moving from this one to this one, if this is the last term, the last term I subtract how many Ds to get into this one? Subtract two Ds. So it's going to be plus A minus 2d. Note what I've done here. Note what I've done. I've taken <coughs> three terms from this side. I've taken three terms from, from it. And in, ASB is tattoo. A yok trinale, we lost part one, ASB must want us a trinale. It will be, it was, it was be a, a minus 2d. And not A in, in this particular case, it's L, 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 not A. It's the last term, min, last term minus D or color and minus about 2. This one will be L minus 3D. But it is, it is important that you should note that I've taken three terms, one, two, three. I've taken the last three terms. So I've taken the first three this side and the last three on the other side. It is important that you should take this into a for this to work out. If you take four this side, you must also take four this other side. If you take two this side, you must also take two from the end. So I've generally, we usually take three. Now, let's play this game. So if this is the first term, what will be the last term? It will be L. Plus, what will be the one after that one? It will be L minus D. Remember, this is the last term. So the second one will be L minus D. This is the second one. What will be the third one? I'm coming this way now. It will be L minus 2D. It will be L minus 2D. I added a number of terms which I don't know how many of them. I'm coming to this one. It will be plus A plus 2D plus this next one, which is A plus D plus the last one in this particular case, it is A. Yes, it is A. Let's see what happens to our game. And we know that we must get indefinite. We must get the same thing. Assembly, let's go together. 
All that I need to do here is to add the first one and the second one. All that we're doing here is the first equation, we're adding it into the second equation. We're adding this too. What is Sn plus Sn? It will give us 2Sn or Sn over B is equals to. Okay, what is A plus L? This is not A times L, but A plus L. We're adding A no L. These are unlike terms, so they will give us just A plus L. So when I added this, I got this. Let's look at the next one. We plus, we're adding this to this. When I add the second term, now the SB, that's why I'm going to then, I can see what, what is D minus D? It is zero. What is A plus L? Ah, it is A plus L. Ah, we skip it in As we have seen here, we just skip it out 10 more. So we are seeing the same thing this side as well. The third one, we're adding the third one now. Let's add this two now. 2D minus 2D is zero. What is A plus L? It gives us the same thing, A plus L. Plus, we are here now on this one. 2D minus 2D is zero. What is A plus L? It is A plus L. Plus, see this one now? We are in this one now. D minus D is zero. What is A plus L? It is A plus L. Plus, the last one, what is A plus L? Of course, it will be A plus L. We are getting the same thing as we did on that example over there. All right, once we have this, what is this saying to me? I don't even know how many terms I have here because I've skipped some other part then down. Let's do this thing. So we are saying here, 2SN is equals to whatever number of A plus L that we have. If we had about 200 of them, I would write 200 instead of L. It stands for the number of, uh, of A plus Ls that I will have. Once I have something like this, remember that I'm looking for Sn. How do I make Sn on its own? I divide by 2 on both sides. So to do that, we divide by 2 here, I will have Sn is equals to N over 2 into A plus L. This is where that formula comes from. Sn is equal to N over 2 into A plus L. But how do you find this one? You continue from this one. Right, from here, if I want to get this, this is what I want to get. I look at what I have, and I look at what I need to have. I've got N over two, I've got it. I've got two A, but I've got one A here. I've got L here, I don't have any L there. I do have A, ukonu A, ukonu N, ukonu N. So the problem here is this L, onge kolapaya. But what do we know about L? We know that L, 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 we know that L is the same as the nth term. L is the same as Tn, but what is Tn? Where there's L, we push in Tn. So Sn is the same as n over 2 into A plus. Instead of L, you push in the value of Tn. What is Tn? The nth term of, of the arithmetic sequence. This is the nth term, Tn, Tn. This is the last term. It is equal to what? A plus, it is A plus into n minus 1d. So this is what L is. This stands for L. Then we work this thing out. So our Sn thus become n over 2 into. Let's look at the like terms. What is a plus a? It is 2a plus this one, which is uh, 2a plus into n minus 1d. This is where this formula comes from. This is how you find the sum of the arithmetic sequence. This is examinable. Get used to it. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.